What's up everyone, it's Jake here and welcome back to Almost Vintage Style. Today we're going to be talking about denim and a subject that uh, it's something I get asked a lot about and also something that I know is uh, a worry for a lot of people and that is sizing unsanforized jeans, okay? So it's kind of a thing that a lot of people are afraid of when they first get into denim or raw denim or it's one of the things that kind of prevents them from getting into either raw denim in general or from getting into unsanforized denim. Uh, so I want to help you out with that because I have a lot of experience with that. Um, I've owned a lot of unsanforized jeans. I've you know had to do a lot of like soaking and washing um, and over several different waist sizes because I used to be a lot heavier. I'm thinner now. My body type has changed a few times over my life. Um, so I've got a lot of experience with a lot of for a lot of different things. So I think that should be really helpful. And I have a new pair of jeans, well, okay, I've actually been sitting on these for a long time, I just never actually washed them. Uh, so, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do that now. This is a good time to do it, uh, and so I'll be able to help you out with that. Now, first of all, understanding the terms, that really matters, because, so, raw denim is kind of a catch-all term for anything where the denim basically just isn't distressed, um, or like, stonewashed and things like that, right? Uh, or even washed really, but in some cases you could still have like a one wash from the factory. So one wash denim is raw denim that was unsanforized. The fabric was not sanforized, um, but it then was washed, um, usually like an industrial wash or something like that, or even just in like washing, like regular washing machines, and then shipped to you, okay? Uh, sanforized is the fabric went through the sanforization process before it got sewn into the jeans, right? Sewn into denim, right? Uh, which basically it's like a process where it goes through like, I mean, like it's like steam and water and it kind of goes through these like rollers and stuff like that. And essentially it pre-shrinks the fabric. There still is usually a little bit of shrink in sanforized denim, but it will easily stretch back, usually beyond the waist size that was there originally. And it's a very minimal, minimal shrinkage. So you don't, basically, whatever the measurements are, they will roughly stay that size. The downside, though, of sanforized denim is that, in general, sanforized jeans just don't have the character that unsanforized jeans have. So if you're really into the most characterful and interesting denim fabrics that are also, for the most part, like what vintage jeans were like, especially if you're into repro stuff, um, then you really want to go with unsanforized. The, the fabrics are, in my experience, almost always more interesting. And that's not a universal thing, but in my opinion, they're, they're, they're almost always, I always prefer them personally, right? And I, have a, I know a lot of other people that are the same way. And it's not just repro nerds like myself. Like I love, you know, vintage jeans and, re, and vintage clothing in general. I'm wearing right now, this is a 1939 uh, wool jacket that I just got recently and I, you know, I love vintage. If I could buy vintage Levi's, uh, you know, at a price that wasn't insane, I would, you know, so I buy repros. But also people that like modern jeans also often prefer unsanforized because if you want the most characterful fabrics uh, from brands like Oni, uh, Tanuki, Samurai, Pure Blue Japan, um, Etc. Right, like those kind of more modern, forward-thinking brands that do these the, the more like textured, either slubby or neppy, characterful fabrics. They also are usually unsanforized. Okay, um, and so basically, there's a, both sides of the spectrum. Really, overall, like unsanforized fabrics. Um, but you know, there's obviously people that are a little bit wary of going unsanforized. The thing is, if you do it right, in my experience, you can actually get unsanforized jeans to fit you better than sanforized ones. And the reason for that is because the denim is in the raw state, that means you can actually mess with the fabric more as a result of that, which I really love that. So that is the cool thing. But we'll get to that in a second. And I'm actually in this video, I'm gonna show you how these fit raw and then show you how they're going to fit once I wash them. Okay, so that will really help you out. Uh, but before that, the first thing that you absolutely need, because this process, to get this right, it starts before you even buy the jeans. So the first thing you need is one of these. 
these sort of flexible tape measures. This one's like kind of like a plasticky one. You can get like the full fabric ones. Those are probably even better. But I mean, you can just go to like a, you know, a home goods store or something like that and get them for a couple bucks. I'm sure you could buy them on Amazon really cheap. This is crucial because you need to know your actual waist measurement. And this is true even if you're buying Sanforice jeans. Um, I'll do like a basic denim overview video probably sometime soon. Let me know actually in the comments genuinely if you're interested in that. I want to see what videos I'm going to do next and I if people I try to do what people are asking for, right? Um, so let me know if that would be like, a, like an overview of, of denim, that, if that's helpful or not. So anyway, you need to take like your actual waist measurement uh, and I would take a couple measurements. I would take a measurement like right at the navel, like right here which is where your actual natural waist is. That should be like the thinnest measurement. This is where my navel is right here, kind of like right just above where my belt is. Okay, and then you want to take a measurement a little bit lower. It will usually be a bit bigger, okay? And then maybe even a little bit lower, depending on where you think your where you want your jeans to fit. Um, that's really, really helpful, okay? The other thing uh, after that, make sure you measure your thighs as well, because for some of us, that's a really big deal. Now, if you're really, really skinny, you might not have to worry about that. I'm not really skinny. I even after I've lost a bunch of weight, like, I mean, I don't skip leg day. I like to work out and that's just also kind of how I'm built. So I have thick thighs, so I need to measure that. I know what they are. They're about 12 and a half inches, actually a little bit more, uh, give or take. But yeah, I need to measure that. Uh, and know how big my thighs are because the thigh measurement is really important. And then also, get try to measure uh, some jeans or pants or trousers or whatever you have that you like the fit of and measure several different things. Uh, a lot of you probably already know this, but some of you might not. Uh, the most important thing for me in my experience with uh, the fit of uh, jeans or uh, trousers is the rise, the front and back rise. So you'd want to measure from like where the crotch seam is right here up to the top and then uh, the back rise as well also from where the crotch seam is essentially hopefully this is focusing I really hope um, and then up to the top here okay that is very very important because that's going to tell you where the jeans are actually going to hit on your waist uh, for me for example these jeans actually measure slightly smaller than 30 inches they're something like 29 and a half and I'm thrilled with the fit um, of these, the ones that I'm wearing right now. And these were on Sanfrys when I got them and they fit perfectly. And um, they, but if they were lower rise, they would need to be a little bit bigger, maybe up to like 31 or even 32, depending on how low the rise is. Now, obviously I don't buy low rise jeans, but s slight differences in rise can make a difference. So these are a very high rise. They're like, 13, um, about 13 front rise, about 17 inch back rise, something like that, even after soaking. And so you want to know if you're getting a pair, slightly lower rise pair, then you're gonna need a little bit more room in the waist, most likely depending on how your measurements work out, right? So that is very, very important. The other thing is when you're buying the jeans, make sure you're buying either from a maker or from a store that provides you with as much information as possible in terms of the denim measurements, okay? Um, it's very, very critical to make sure you know what the pre-soak and post-soak measurements are supposed to be or like the ex expected shrinkage percentage. Most good stores do absolutely provide that information. Like Mr. Freedom usually provides that information for their jeans. Uh, Standard and Strange, Self Edge, those are some of the ones I, you know, have shopped at the most. And um, they all provide that pretty accurately. You know, they're not always the exact same uh, between the stores, but you know, you can also kind of go between them and but they're all those stores are good at providing all those measurements Also, make sure you check how the store does their measurements because they don't all do it the same and then you can kind of compare It takes work, but honestly you would need to pretty much do all of that Even if you were buying Sanforize jeans, the only difference is just the addition of post soak measurements or expected shrinkage percentage, right? That's the only addition. It's not that much. Okay, so once you have all that information, you should have a general idea of how they should fit. Now, one of the things that's great about unsanforized jeans is because they're in a more raw, untouched state when you get them, you have a lot more options in terms of how you get them to fit you. That's what's really cool. A lot of people see, because 
raw jeans, like actual unsanitized denim is more complicated to get the fit right. Yes, that's a downside, right? Like you could mess it up. It's easier to mess up, but it's also got a lot more possibilities. And I think that's what's really cool. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, some people don't even wash them and they just wear them like this forever in their raw state. I don't recommend that because not washing your jeans is absolutely disgusting. I don't know why you would do that. Sorry, that's that's not an opinion. It's unhygienic. It's gross. Okay. So, um, uh, but, but you can do that. I mean, it's up to you, right? Like I'm, I don't agree with it, but you, you have that option. The other thing though is depending on how you soak or wash them, they can be a different size basically. That's what's really cool. So uh, I've been in the position where I was a heavier guy and I, I wanted a certain fit and all I did was cold soak them and therefore uh, they didn't shrink all that much. And I just did that consistently. So when I washed them, I did wash them, but I washed them in like a tub or a bucket with cold water, light agitation, and with a detergent and everything like that. And they didn't shrink a huge amount more as I continued to wash them over time. And so if you only ever introduce your jeans to cold water and very, very light agitation, um, then you can do that, right? It's, it's more work, but that's something that's definitely an option. I did it, I don't frown on that at all. Um, and you can keep the jeans less shrunk and they'll fit you for, a, you know, for as long as you need them to, you know, unless you gain more weight or lose more weight. But then if you lose more weight, well, great news. You have the option to then wash them hotter and agitate them more and shrink them down further. Now that's something that I did. So the pair that I'm actually talking about, hold on a second. I'm going to go get them actually. I don't know why I did not get them before. This is the pair that I am talking about. It's actually the same pair uh, that I was just talking about uh, for both situations. Uh, this is a pair of Connor Sewing Factory 1937 jeans that I've owned since actually almost, maybe this is even the end, like this is right around the time I got them uh, in 2017 and it is now 2024 when I'm filming this. So uh, in an exact same, almost probably close to the day, uh, to be honest with you. I should check when I, when I got them, that'd be funny. Anyway, um, because it was like early, early fall. So these, when I first got them, they were a bit tight. Uh, I did obviously still soak them, but what I did was I only cold soaked them um, with very little agitation, and then I started to wear them. And uh, they, it worked very well. I washed them a few more times when I was at that higher weight that I was at, and I continued to just cold soak them, light agitation in the tub with some detergent, and that's all I did, and they continued to fit uh, during that time, right? And the nice thing is actually, in some cases, like if you don't wash them a ton, like just cold soak, they won't shrink all that much and the denim will still stretch out. So it will probably stretch, these stretched out beyond the original raw measurements in the waist. So that's again, that was kind of a helpful thing. So you can actually get, in some cases, I would never recommend sizing down, but if you're in that position, you can't, you, there's a little bit of leeway where you can kind of make it work, right? Then I started to lose weight. Um, and then I ended up losing a huge amount of weight and I was kind of sad because I had worn these a lot and they were they were my most worn pair of jeans of all time and I wanted to try to shrink them down so uh, I was like in the middle of my weight loss I just started hot washing them in the washing machine and they shrunk down a lot more because there's a lot more agitation much hotter water and they shrunk down a lot and I was able to keep wearing them for a little bit. And then I lost even more weight, and then it was, oh man, I really need to wash them even more. Well then, I just threw them in a, in, in a tumble dryer at a laundromat, because like, the one I had didn't, wasn't able to shrink them as much. So I just like, fried them in this washing, in this tumble dryer. More than one session in a row, by the way. I was literally just sitting at the laundromat, like, watching them like, just shrink up. And it worked, amazingly, that's the thing. So yeah, they're slightly big in the waist, but not a huge amount. I mean, they were a size 36 when new, um, and they're something down to like a 31 or 31 and a half, maybe 32 inch waist, which is a little big, but 
not unbearably so, they still look good on me. And so they shrunk down a couple of sizes. Now you might not be able to do that with every pair of jeans, but I have tried to do that with some Samphorized jeans and I haven't been able to do it. With this unsamphorized pair, it's a very, it's a lighter fabric too, so maybe that helped. I don't know exactly, it depends on the fabric. But I was able to make this pair work and I've since faded them a heck of a lot more and they are very well loved. I absolutely adore these jeans and that is one of the big benefits of that. So that is why I think unsamphorized is really cool because you can do that. Uh, this pair, a pair of OAU Fukuten in Cone Mills denim, I've owned these for a few years. These, I knew I needed to just soak, uh, sorry, shrink them as much as possible from the get-go. So I hot washed and tumble dried them absolutely immediately. So, um, and they shrunk down very nicely and they fit really, really well. In general though, that if, you know, if you really want them shrunk down like crazy, you're probably gonna need to do it a couple of times to really get all the shrink out. Even if you're hot washing and tumble drying, you probably still need to do, in my experience at least, more than once. Maybe that doesn't fit everybody's experience, but at least for me, that's the case. So, basically what I'm saying is you've got options for how much you can soak, you wanna soak them. So even like the, Basically, when you go to like a store, you ask, you could ask the sales associate, right? Most of them are very, very knowledgeable, very, very helpful people. Um, so you can ask them. And uh, like I happen, you know, I, everybody I've talked to at uh, Standard Strange, awesome people. They're very knowledgeable, very, very helpful. I happen to know one of the guys now who works at Blue Owl. Uh, great guy, very much willing to help people out. So definitely ask them, you know, if you have post soak measurements, like, okay, what washing method did you use? in order to get this level of shrinkage, right? So that way you know if maybe it's possible to get a little bit more out of the shrinkage if you want to, or a little bit less out depending on how you wash them, right? So I know that's a lot of detailed information. I never have short videos, I'm sorry, I just don't know how to do it. But again, it's because I'm trying to give you the most helpful information possible. So what I'm gonna do next is, well, actually I need to tell you about these jeans, first of all, the ones that I've been sitting on. So this is a pair of OEU Fukuten as well. It's actually the same basic model as this pair, because it's a World War II model. I'm kind of obsessed with, I love 30s and 40s clothing. I mean, look at this one, right? Um, this is also a World War II pair of denim. This is from uh, Rebuilt Japan or Libra Pondus. This is my LB40s jeans that I had basically custom in terms of fit. Uh, I've been wearing these for about eight months now. Absolutely love them. Going to be wearing them for uh, a while now until my next contest pair. Uh, but that's why it's a good time to wash these. So anyway, these are Oya Fukuten OA03. This is their widest and highest rise uh, pair uh, or model. So my previous pair, this is a 33. And now Oe jeans, you again, don't pay attention to the tag size. Uh, they, they fit like a 31. They always run two tag sizes. They run two sizes big. So, or two sizes small, sorry, is what I should say. So if you have a 31 inch waist, you need to get a 33. If you have a 34 inch waist, you need to get a 36, roughly, okay, uh, depending on the other measurements. These are a 34, which, so you know these are gonna be oversized on me. I am a 30 inch waist, uh, actually maybe slightly less now. Um, the reason why I wanted to size up for these versus the last ones is, even though these fit pretty well, the thighs are a bit snug with these, okay? And I also just want a different silhouette so I could, you know, they might look a little bit different. First of all, it's a different fabric, this is cone. This is their own proprietary uh, Japanese denim. And um, so, yeah, I think that will be fun to try out. So I am going to hot wash them and in the washing machine on the hottest setting I possibly can put them on and then I'm going to tumble dry them as well because I want to take all the shrink out as, po as much as possible. But I am gonna try them on first to make sure, so that's what I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the before and after because I think that was gonna be very, very helpful. And we'll also let you know, maybe it will change my idea of how much I need to wash them, right? We're gonna see how they fit and I'm gonna see how much do I really need to wash and soak them, okay? So that's what we're going to do right now. All right, so this is how the jeans fit pre-soak on me. Uh, as you can see, it's actually a pretty good fit, and that's because, you know, uh, if I could have this, these exact measurements, but with a smaller waist, uh, I, I would. This is, a, this is a good fit for me, honestly, minus the fact that the waist is absolutely gigantic, so I can fit both, like, the thickest parts of both my hands in the waistband, and I'm not, honestly, this is not even uncomfortable. I could walk around, well, I mean, I wouldn't, but I could walk around like this all day, so 
it definitely does have too much room here. Um, but the, I mean, the thighs definitely have more room than necessary. Uh, I mean, although I would, I don't dislike this amount of thigh room, but like I do have more room to give here if I need to. So yeah. Uh, now for most people, if your jeans fit you like this, you know, honestly pretty well, these don't look gigantic on me. At least I don't feel like they do. If this has, is how your jeans fit you pre-soak, you know, if they're raw on sand fries, I would advise you not to do as much as I'm about to do. Uh, I would advise you just to probably honestly just cold soak. Um, maybe warm soak or maybe a cold wash in the washing machine with very little, with like on like a low agitation mode or something like that. But that's, I would say not to do too much. Now I have owned this exact model and cut of jeans from the same maker. So OU Fukuten 03 cut. I've owned, I own that pair. I've owned it for, for since 2021. Yeah. Since this time, 2021, they're about three years old now. And, um, they're a size smaller than these two. So I know that, and I've hot washed them, tumble dried them several times. So they're as shrunk as they could possibly be. Now, in fairness, I did size up partly because the thighs are a little snug on that pair. So I am probably going to be a little more careful in terms of how I tumble dry these. I'll probably dry them a little bit just to get this video done a little quicker. But if I was being really smart about it, I would I would hot wash these in the washing machine for sure because I know how these jeans fit. But if you're not in that exact situation where you've owned the exact pair of jeans in one size smaller, then I would not do that. I would be very careful because you can see how these fit. So it did change, like trying these on did change how I'm going about my washing and soaking pro my washing process because they fit a little more, you know, especially in the body they and the legs, they fit a little more snug than I was expecting them to. So yeah, that's partly why you do this exercise. Um, obviously the waist needs to be shrunk down a lot. That's why, you know, maybe in the future I'll then tumble dry them more, but yeah. So this is why you, why you do this because they're not as loose as I was expecting. So that's going to adjust how I'm going to wash them. So this is how the jeans fit after a hot wash in the washing machine. Um, put it on hot, not extra hot. I put it on like the jeans setting, um, put it on hot. Uh, with and they wash for a long time and I uh, then put them in the tumble dryer and they went to full dry in the tumble dryer they weren't like super dry like like crazy hot afterwards but they definitely dried in the tumble dryer so yeah I mean these are probably got almost all if not all of the possible shrink out already and they fit I think very well right like I knew I could go down, like I, I could shrink them a lot given that I have experience with this pair of this model of jeans. And, you know, as you can see, you know, the thighs don't have much room left, but a little tiny bit left. And I can, you know, squat down pretty easily uh, if I need to, right? I can do my, can I do a pistol squat? Oh, yeah. All right, so I can still do that just fine. Shout out to Nick Stridewise for the desire for me to be able to do pistol squats, which I can now do, as you can see. But I mean, the fact that I can do that, again, shows that I do have the room necessary in the thighs to do whatever it is that I need to do. Uh, but it is like what I would call a slim straight fit on me, personally. Uh, and they do have a little bit of room still in the, in the waist. Like, I can fit like, the, again, the biggest part of my hand all the way in and I'm not like sucking it in or anything like this is it's weirdly uncomfortable but you know also not uncomfortable if you know what I mean like I could do that very easily without discomfort so yes they are a little too big in the waist still I knew that was going to be the case but they're not as roomy in the waist as they could have been um, and so it still works like basically what my kind of test is is if I can do up my belt to the setting that I would normally do my belt up to without them being like, without the jeans like pulling like crazy, then it's a proper fit. And you can see that that's the case. So I've done the jeans up to like 
the belt up, sorry, to where I would normally do it, and it's not like, there's not a bunch of like creasing or anything really bad here. Um, so I think it's actually fine there. So I'd probably pull them down slightly though. If I try to pull them up a little bit too much, yeah, it's a little better. Anyway, okay, I'm not saying it's like a perfect fit. I'm always compromising because of just the way my body type is and the way I fit into things. But these have enough room and they're comfortable. So yeah, the, my, the, the method worked. I knew what I was doing and I got what I think is a very good result. Like again, you can still move around, do whatever I need to do. Um, they're snug on, you know, my hip area and my, you know, my rear and everything, but they're not uncomfortably so. Cause like I said, I can move around quite easily and that's just how things tend to fit me. So I knew that going, right. And uh, leg opening is pretty good. Yeah, I'm very happy with these. So yeah, this is, I think uh, a good example of how you can, you know, if you know what your measurements are, you know how things are going to fit on you, you can make unsanitized jeans fit you very well. And like I said, if I, if I was, it was more on the border then I wouldn't have washed them the way I did. I would have washed them a lot less. And plus also the other thing is do keep in mind, especially after you wash unsanitized jeans, if the waist especially is the area that you still need some room in, it will definitely stretch back out. So if it's a little tight in the waist, you'll be okay. If it's a tiny bit tight in the thigh, you'll still probably, you might be okay, depending on the fabric, it might stretch like a tiny bit. Some people would argue that it won't at all, but like, don't downsize in the thigh, I guess is what I'm saying. Like, I size up in this exact pair versus the previous pair that I had in the exact same cut with a slightly different fabric because of the thighs. That was the thing that I sized up for and it turned out to work very well because it doesn't look like I have a lot of room in the thighs because I don't have a lot of room, but I definitely have more than I had before. These are more comfortable than the last pair was. So, and I'm able to, you know, like I said, move around just fine. Like this is actually very easy for me to do, which I do have a pair of jeans where I, where I have a couple pairs of jeans where I struggle to be able to do that in. And I'm not trying to size down for a slim fit, right? Like I said, they're a little bit loose in the waist, as you could very clearly tell. Um, but yeah, so that's where you don't have a lot of room. But most people don't have quite that level of issue with thighs without having the issue in the waist. Like, you know, when I was a heavier guy, I had basically the same size thighs as I do now. Um, and, or maybe slightly bigger probably, but because I was so much bigger in the waist, I could size up for both the thigh and the waist simultaneously. Now I kind of have to treat it a little bit differently. So yeah, anyway, very happy with the fit of these jeans. And uh, hopefully that was helpful in explaining to you how to, you know, how to wash and how to treat your uh, unwashed, your raw, selvage, unsanforized, unwashed jeans. So thank you all very much for watching. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to get to them. You can always DM me on Instagram as well to ask questions and I'll try to get to you on that as well. But hopefully this was helpful. And if there's anything else you want to know, if there's some stuff that I missed that maybe I could do in another video, then let me know. I think I'm being pretty thorough here, but if there's any other stuff that you want me to mention, then definitely let me know. All right. So thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all next time.